Trail with Peter Hopkins. Here we are, Equine IR. It's a World Equestrian Games, Day 13. Coming down to the wire at the finals of the event. Last night we had the finals on the show jumping. Pretty exciting. A lot, almost a pretty full stadium and a lot of action going on there. Exciting day, very exciting day yesterday. Uh, several media attention. Uh, NBC had actually stopped by our booth and did a little production there, and it was pretty fun. The kids were going wild in front of the infrared camera. And uh, over the last couple of days, we've had a lot of excitement with some of the uh, riders and the eventers that were uh, that are in the games. Um, we've actually uh, done a scan. One of the horses actually was injured en route to the World Equestrian Games and never made it out. They actually pulled it out. I've actually got Peter McKetty here, who uh, actually went out and did the scan on that horse. Peter, what do you, what do you think? Uh, what was the overall impression uh, with this horse? And, and I guess it was an injury that, that took place? Yeah, the horse uh, was a Mr. Wise guy. It's a three-day eventing horse and had a, uh, supposedly had a, a suspensory ligament injury. And that's what we were trying to get confirmation of. We are waiting for the interpretation, but uh, it went very well and it was uh, Really nice to be able to help out one of the riders. Oh, that's great. Well, I, you know, they, they had a chance to, uh, you know, see this whole process. Had they ever heard of the uh, equine thermal imaging before? No, I don't believe so. He was pretty intrigued with the technology, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a couple of people watching a barrier from their barn, and they were all very intrigued. So it was fun to give them a little education. Well, this was off-site at a several a couple miles away from the Kentucky Horse Park. And uh, I guess they never did have the chance to make it in. It's quite a big travel to come from these uh, outside countries to the U.S. and then only to find that uh, they weren't able to compete because of an injury. And I don't, I don't think they would want to either with the uh, with the price tag on some of these horses. Anyways, um, we are as we come into this day here. We've got a lot of exciting things. We'll be meeting up with uh, Mr. John Lyons again today. You can see more about him at johnlyons.com, and you can also follow along as we give more chance cast. Look at our YouTube account, youtube.com forward slash United Infrared, and you can see more about us as we keep our broadcast going from the World Equestrian Games in Lexington, Kentucky, 2010.